and action! Hi, welcome to Cinema Radio, where we only talk about South Korean movies and dramas. Korean movies of 2021, huh? Slate or Purara Kampunga is the second movie I saw from 2021, and um, so far so good. The movie stars and Jie, Pak Tae-san, Lee Se-ho, and Kim Min-ji. An Jie is an orphan whose dream is to become a hero so that she doesn't become useless in this world. As an adult, she is a struggling actress, accepting a job as a stand-in for a movie. Once she arrives on the set, something happens and she is transported to a parallel universe where she is mistakenly believed to be a soul slayer. A lonely savior who's gonna save the people of the village she is transported to. Slade is a fantasy action comedy movie, I guess. It takes influences from a variety of sources. In a way, this movie is a big melting pot of different genres. It doesn't take itself very seriously when it comes to its characters and its situations, but it takes very seriously the presentation of these ideas. I'm gonna switch up my usual routine and talk about the problems first because I wanna get them out of the way. Slade is very much a comedy, it's a very, very lighthearted movie, and it's good that way. Unfortunately, not every joke works. A lot of it is predictable and boring. When it works, it puts a smile on your face, but it can also make you frown sometimes. A bigger problem is the characterization. Since the movie is really playful, certain characters come across more like cartoon characters rather than actual people. It works in the context of the movie, but it's also a bit harder to relate to them because of that. And unfortunately, the main character also could be a lot more fleshed out. Even though certain parts of her personality are very well defined, there is definitely room for more. Especially since she makes some new friends in this other world, and some of the more dramatic moments of the film would have been much more impactful had their relationship been more established. Also, there's a villain in the film and he's totally disposable, there's a YouTuber character whose only job is to drop some exposition and then appear here and there for no reason at all. And then there are some things I just wanted to know. For example, certain characters use some sort of magic in this other world and it's never explained. Stuff like that. Now that we've got that out of the way, here comes the praise. Even though the characters could be stronger, everybody's doing a pretty good job here. And certain characters have some pretty satisfying character arcs. For example, Iseho plays an actual soul slayer, but by the time he gets into town, Anjie is already there, so he seems useless. And despite his character arc being a little cliched, it was still very satisfying, especially because I didn't expect the movie to do that. And I also think that the movie not taking itself very seriously is a really good idea. It's a story that you can play around with, and it's also a great opportunity to blend different genres together. The movie has some western vibes, for example. Certain western movies were definitely an influence on Slate. It draws from martial arts movies, it has lots of of comedy, and yet all these different influences and genres work for each other instead of against each other, and it has a lot to do with the cinematography. Slade is a pretty small scale movie, but it was done by people who knew what they were doing. I was really surprised how well filmed this movie was, it was really a joy to watch. Certain shots and shot compositions are brilliantly stylish, the whole color palette is beautiful, and the fight scenes are absolute highlights. Seriously, the editing is great in the fight scenes, everything is on display, the cuts make sense, you can see everything. It's intense, it's very well choreographed, it's everything you want, really. There is one particular scene in the third act that was shot incredibly well, involving a large number of enemies. It was a lot of fun. And then there is one more really interesting thing. When the movie starts out, it starts out using a very condensed aspect ratio. I thought I was watching the wrong version of the movie or something. It looked a little something like this. And when the main character gets thrown into this parallel universe, the movie changes back to a normal aspect ratio and the whole movie opens up. The reason why this is interesting is because, to me, the condensed aspect ratio feels like something I would used for a dream sequence or for a scene that strays away from reality. And here it is used to represent reality. So I wonder if that was intentional, you know, maybe the movie is implying that the real world for the main character is actually the other world? I don't know, it's an open-ended question, but it's something to think about. So Slade is a movie that is done with care and effort. It has its shortcomings, but it knows exactly what it is and it makes the most out of it. The pacing is also really good, the movie doesn't waste any time, it flows really well. It doesn't overstay its welcome. There's nothing in it that we haven't seen before, but it still has a pretty unique tone to it. The other world is explained really fast and it's represented really well. It's familiar enough so that it's not uncomfortable, but it's different enough to be interesting. This is a ride where you totally have to suspend your disbelief, but it's actually easy, because the movie is actually a lot of fun. So Slate is a great surprise. I'd be lying if I said it's perfect, but for what it is, this is really strong and I had a great time with it, and I'm gonna give this one 75%. If you feel like watching something really fun that is actually very well executed, give this one a try. It's good! Yerabun, onurun yagikaji maneyo, yansan paju shasa kamsamnida, yansan chuamyan, kudokaji seyo. See you very soon. Tamshikan manna yerabun, yangi geseyo. Bye!